Hi, I'm Dr. Arul Furtado, a consultant cardiothoracic surgeon at Astor CMI Hospital, Bangalore. My areas of special interest include minimally invasive cardiothoracic surgery, robotic cardiothoracic surgery, and hybrid cardiac surgery. I'd like to talk to you about a procedure called a robotic thymectomy. Let's start off by seeing what a thymus is. The thymus is a gland that is situated in the front of the chest, behind the breastbone. It's a gland that is involved in the development of the immune system, especially in the young age and in adolescence. In later life, this gland can be involved by a tumor process called a thymoma. The thymus gland has also been associated with the pathophysiology of a neurological condition called myasthenia gravis. It has been noted that in about 10% of patients with myasthenia gravis, the thymus harbors a thymoma while a great majority of them have a condition called thymic hyperplasia. Thymectomy has been recommended as one of the therapies for myasthenia gravis and is an essential therapy for all patients with thymoma. It has been noted that after thymectomy, about 21% of patients have a complete remission of their symptoms of myasthenia gravis, while another 76% of patients have a marked improvement in their clinical condition. So thymectomy is one of the procedures that is recommended in conjunction with medical therapy for patients with mild to moderate musculoskeletal symptoms of myasthenia gravis in those less than 65 years of age, especially those with a thymoma and those with thymic hyperplasia. Conventionally, thymectomy was performed by using a stenotomy approach that is an incision in the front of the chest, roughly about eight to 10 centimeters, splitting the breastbone and removal of the thymus. Then came the minimally invasive approaches like video assisted thoracoscopic surgery, commonly called VATS. And now the latest evolution is robotic thymectomy. How does robotic thymectomy excel compared to the other approaches? In robotic thymectomy, the visualization is excellent. You have 3D visualization, the incisions are tiny, resembling keyholes on the chest, and the robotic arms provide excellent maneuverability and manipulation within the chest within tight cramped spaces. This enables the performance of something called a total thymectomy, which is the minimal that is recommended for this sort of therapy to succeed in patients with myasthenia gravis. We, the cardiothoracic team at Astor CMI Hospitals, Bangalore, have performed quite a significant number of these surgeries, that is robotic thymectomies for patients with thymomas and those with thymic hyperplasia for myasthenia gravis. And I'm pleased to say that we have seen a significant improvement with regards to clinical symptoms in many patients with myasthenia gravis.